If you're not living a purpose for God, you are not living. Amen. Alright, welcome to today's reading. Let's pray. Father, we want to pray today for today's sharing. Father, I pray whatever I say may encourage people to do your will in the full of your purpose. In your name I pray. Amen. Today I'm reading from Romans 8, 28. The reason like this, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who call according to His purpose. Amen. So, what this verse is talking about, encouraging people to do, is to do things and work for God, for His purpose, especially to those who love Him. Many people claim that they love God. And loving God doesn't mean every Sunday going to church. It does not mean you give your tithing. It does not mean you trying to do a lot of things for God. But those who love Him will know the will of God in their life and will have a purpose in serving Him and knowing Him. You see, going to church, the purpose is to know His purpose, <laughs> not your purpose. So many Christians, even myself, I'm equally guilty. We go to church because we have a need. We have uh, some uh, requirements or maybe desires or dreams or things that you want. And you pray for things that you need, which is okay. But eventually you go to church because you want to find out what God's going to speak to you that day or that week. And you go to church also to get to know people, help people, pray for people and find a purpose in serving Him. If you're currently not serving the church, I would highly encourage you to speak to your pastor and find out what, how can you contribute to the church rather than just, you know, tithing or attendance, you know. And I want to encourage you to do that because when you serve Him, you find great purpose in life because there's something that I don't want to describe to you, but once you start doing it, you feel more fulfillment and purpose in doing um, good works for the Lord not because you want to tell people you're holy or what but because you love Him and there are many ways to serve Him and love Him you can go for missions you can serve the church Asha do a musician teach in a class assistant in the class do children ministry you know do all kinds of things pray for people also can go hospital visit you know all these are important things that you can do to help the kingdom or to serve God. If you have not even considered doing all this, I would highly encourage you to do so because then you will find purpose in life that being a Christian is not just going to a Sunday church but you will go beyond that and see you know, how can you live for purpose, life driven for God by knowing what you can contribute to His kingdom and to serve His purpose. And then all things will work together for good for those who love him. A lot of people misinterpret this first and claim it for their personal you know, careers and things in life and all that. But actually, honestly speaking, who do you really love? Do you love God? Or do you love your desires and needs more than God? Right? So that's something only you can answer. So let's pray. But I want to pray for those who are watching this video Father, I pray they will find purpose in you. If they claim they love you, Father, I pray you speak to them today. Lord Almighty, thank you, Lord Father, for your love for us. Thank you for your Son. And Father, I pray they will find purpose in you. They will find purpose again. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you believe that, as I believe, comment in below, share this video with someone, and hope to see you again in tomorrow's sharing. God bless. My name is Alvin. See you again.